Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on plastic analysis. Let us see the question one time. Find the collapse load for the fixed beam by kinematic method. A fixed beam of varying cross section is given. For the first half, we have 1.5 MB. For the second half, we have MB. In this fixed beam, we have a point load W at a distance of L upon 3 from the fixed end A. In this fixed beam, in the fixed end A, there will be a plastic hinge. In the fixed end B also, there will be a plastic hinge. The third plastic hinge can occur either under the point load or in the center. We have to consider the center as a joint because on the left side and right side we have different cross sections. In this case there will be two mechanisms, one under the point load and one in the center. Now let us make the first mechanism. In this mechanism let us assume that the plastic hinge occurs under the point load W. This distance is L upon 3. We can find this distance by subtracting this distance by L. When we do that we are getting 2L upon 3. Let us keep delta as the virtual displacement due to the load W. Let us keep this angle as theta 1, this angle as theta 2. So this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 1 is equal to delta upon L upon 3. We can take L upon 3 inversely and then multiply with delta. When we do that, we will get 3 delta upon L. The value of tan theta 1 will be very small. So tan theta 1 will be approximately equal to theta 1. In this case, we can take theta 1 is equal to 3 delta upon L. And delta is equal to L theta 1 upon 3. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 2 is equal to delta upon 2L upon 3. We can take 2L upon 3 inversely and then multiply with delta. When we do that, we will get 3 delta upon 2L. We know that tan theta 2 is approximately equal to theta 2. So we can take theta 2 is equal to 3 delta upon 2L. For delta, we can apply L theta 1 upon 3. We can eliminate 3 and L. Finally, for theta 2, we are getting 0 0.5 theta 1. Now let us find the internal work done. We know that in this fixed beam, we have different cross sections. For the first half, we have 1.5 MB. And for the second half, we have MB. In the fixed end A, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply 1.5 MB with the angle theta 1. Under the point load, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply 1.5 MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. In the fixed end B, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 2. To find the internal work done, we have to add these three. We know that theta 2 is equal to 0 0.5 theta 1. For theta 2, we can apply 0 0.5 theta 1. Theta 1 plus 0 0.5 theta 1, we will get 1.5 theta 1. 1.5 into 1.5, 
we will get 2.25 after adding these three we will get the internal work done which is equal to 4.25 mb theta 1 now let us find the external work done for that we have to multiply the load with the displacement delta for delta we can apply l theta 1 upon 3 this is the external work done let us equate the external work done and internal work done we can eliminate theta 1 we can take L upon 3 on the right side, 3 into 4.25, we will get 12.75. Finally, for the collapse load WC, we are getting 12.75 MB upon L. Now, let us make the second mechanism. In this mechanism, let us assume that the third plastic hinge occurs in the center. Let us keep this angle as theta 1, this angle as theta 2. So this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 1 is equal to delta upon L upon 2. We can take L upon 2 inversely and then multiply with delta. When we do that, we will get 2 delta upon L. We know that tan theta 1 is approximately equal to theta 1. So for theta 1, we can take 2 delta upon L. Using that, we can make the expression for delta, which is equal to theta 1 L upon 2. Due to the symmetrical nature of this triangle, theta 1 should be equal to theta 2. Now let us find the internal work done. In the fixed end A, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply 1.5 MB with the angle theta 1. In the fixed end B also, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 2. In the center, we have a plastic hinge. Here, we will have some confusion because on the left side, we have 1.5 MB. On the right side, we have MB. We have to always select the weak section. That means the section which has lesser MB value. The right side section is the weak section because it is having smallest MB value. So we have to select MB. We have to multiply MB with theta 1 plus theta 2. To get the internal work done, we have to add these three. For theta 2, we can apply theta 1. Finally, we are getting the internal work done, which is equal to 4.5 MB theta 1. Now, we are going to find the external work done. For that, we have to find the height under this point load. Let us keep this height as delta 1. Let us find delta 1. For the distance of 0.5L, the height is delta. So for 0.5L, it is delta. But we want the height at the distance of L upon 3. So we have to multiply this with L upon 3. We can eliminate L. 0.5 into 3, we will get 1.5. Finally, for delta 1, we are getting delta upon 1.5. Now let us find the external work done. For that we have to multiply the load W with the height delta upon 1.5. For delta we can apply theta 1 L upon 2. 1.5 into 2 we will get 3. 
let us equate the external work done and the internal work done we can eliminate theta 1 we can take l upon 3 on the other side 3 into 4.5 we will get 13.5 finally for the collapse load wc we are getting 13.5 mb upon l we have found the collapse load WC two times in the first mechanism and in the second mechanism. For the real mechanism, we have to select the smallest value. This is smaller. So, mechanism only is the real mechanism. And the real collapse load WC is 12.75 MB upon L. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.